On Christmas Day, the Sistine Chapel and Vatican Museums are closed in observance of the holiday. But earlier this year, Michelangelo's masterpiece in one of the most iconic churches in the Catholic faith came to life in digital form. A dynamic production that infuses history with modern special effects launched in a theater just up the street. The musician Sting composed the theme song, John. For a multimedia theater experience that offers a new perspective on the Sistine Chapel painting, the show was created by a director who previously designed Olympic ceremonies, all with the Vatican's permission. Seth Doan scored a ticket to go behind the scenes. He filed this report from Vatican City. Good morning and Merry Christmas. The Vatican is always festive during the holidays, but the most elaborate decorations here won't wilt. In fact, they're centuries old. The Sistine Chapel, which is just over there, is visited every year by about six million people. And now in a theater just down the street, there is a way to see Michelangelo's masterpiece up close and in digital form. Lasers, lights, and a thunderous sound system. Add a distinctly modern dimension to a story that's roughly 500 years old. Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel. Images fill the theater. It's an immersive experience that even its creative director, Marco Balic, has a hard time describing. It's easier to say what is not. There is ballet, but it's not a ballet. There is a lot of beautiful music by John Metcalf and Sting, but it's not a musical. It's a very technological show. Balich treated Michelangelo as a sort of superhero, whose frescoes in digital form turn Rome's former symphony hall into a second Sistine Chapel. What did you think? Cosa ne pensi del spettacolo? Bellissimo, bellissimo. You liked it. Balich has had some practice staging a spectacle, notably the closing ceremony of the Sochi Olympic Games. Usually we do a one-off. So we, it's a hitch, I go, ah, and it's finished, and it's gone. This, this time, it keeps going. I open up the, the, the door to the fake system chapel. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Those are the kind Balich of let us peek backstage uh, to see how the show finishes. works. I don't know that I need... To wear. <laughs> what the cast wears, no, that it's, uh, and how he took inspiration from spectacles the Catholic Church has staged. This is the coffin of John Paul II, which for, to me, which I love ceremonies, that was one of the best ceremonies ever done. Balich takes images that visitors strain to see in real life and expands and animates them. He pushed to create this production and got the blessing of the Vatican. The one skeptical Italian columnist wasn't so nice, calling all of the special effects visual Viagra. When you hear critics say this is just too much, it's all show. They told me every time they said, oh, but it's like Disney. And I said, but Disney, well, Disney is a genius. What's wrong with it? Creative director Marco Balich tells us he gets some of his inspiration from the immersive world of theme park rides and says he knows he's been successful when he looks around to see audiences enthralled and not on their cell phones. For CBS This Morning, Seth Doan, Vatican City. Seth Doan in Vatican City, we thank you.